We're identical twins, psychics, mediums, and we predict the future for individuals and for the world. They perform psychic readings using a technique called automatic writing. 300 predictions of world events that all happened exactly as we said and when we said. They forecast the BP oil spill at this year's Japanese earthquake, the September 11 terrorist attacks. Hey guys, what's up? I am currently here with Hi. the psychic <laughs> twins. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I am here today with... Hi, we're the Psychic Twins. I'm Terry And I'm Linda. And we're with Alex today. Woo! Hi Alex! So, I'm really nervous. Everybody yeah. said that. Well, I've had psychic readings before and they've all gone really badly. Oh no! Well, we're nice psychics. <laughs> people always get mad because we don't tell people negative things like you're going to die in a car crash or something. We're here to spend, what, a half hour, 45 minutes with you. We don't want to like come with play you. God. You don't play God and we're tell not, you when you're going to yeah. die. We're not seeing anything negative like that anyway. Do you ever decide to tell something, someone something negative if you think they should know? Oh yes, it's clearly a caution, a warning. Yeah, if they want to know, not everybody wants to know. Yeah. I went to a psychic once, and she told me that I had a lot of negative energy that I, that's been with me since I was younger. No, no, no. That's yes. a, see, that's a gimmick <laughs> that fake psychic yeah. and gypsies will use right. to scare you into buying their candles and stuff. Right. That's yeah. what I thought. It's not yeah. true yeah. at all. In fact, you are one of the most positive young ladies we've ever met. I'm really feeling like there's some kind of a film project for you coming, Alex. Yeah, it feels like it's this year. I, I feel like you're going to be part of a film. I think writing is important to you, and I do see you always writing and involved in either writing a series, a comedic series. Yes. I see also a screenplay. I'm writing a pilot for a TV show right now. That oh, comedy. Perfect. That's exactly perfect. what we saw. I just saw for a little credit. Thank I you. Don't you think she's hard oh. on herself? Yes, too hard on yourself. I, I was you just are. talking to someone about this today. <laughs> really? Just you today? Like, if you talk to your, your friends the oh. way you talk to yourself, you wouldn't have any friends. Uh. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I get a lot of interesting past lives on you, and a lot connected with like Peru mm -hmm. and South America, Spain. So it's interesting. There are all these sort of Spanish past lives that are connected to Spain. Funny. And also um, a life in Bulgaria I picked up in the 10th century. Wow. Um, um, I feel like you were a merchant, you were a male uh, in that life, but also very intuitive, highly intuitive, even psychic in several of your lives. In this life, yes. I feel very non-connected with any sort of spirituality. Is there a reason for that? Well, yes. I think that that's sort of common today among young people, honestly. As you get older, you'll feel the need to connect more spiritually and to develop your faith. You're very psychic, you really are. but. It, it's like at age six, something traumatic happened where you stop trusting it, you kind of shut it down. You don't have to remember or yeah. say, disclose what that is. We already know. <laughs> you know, I feel like you kind of shut that down and you can open those psychic spidey senses again. I have uh, no memories of my younger years, so I actually have no idea. Well, that's, that's to me, telling. That's good. it's telling. It's a red flag that, you know, often when our clients do not remember something from early childhood it's a sign of trauma or something that you may have blocked which you can you know meditate and actually even do hypnosis to remember and recall those things that you blocked i just saw you in like armor on a horse like in a battle it feels like an ancient life in northern europe and it feels like you were going into battle with tremendous armor and uh, helmet and uh, sword, it was a very ancient life, but wow. it's almost like you're a warrior in this life. You're bad, you were, you're always armed for battle, no matter what. <laughs> it feels like you're, you're stealing yourself for whatever may come because you don't trust that it's the ground is going to be there for you. This is almost terrifyingly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I like. <laughs> You have trouble making decisions? Yes. Oh, horribly so. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to be moving, aren't you? Soon? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually moving in the next two weeks. Okay. Well, you know, Alex, I feel good about this place that you're thinking so about, far. but I feel that where you're going and you're contemplating moving is going to be a very positive move. 
for you and our location. So we're gonna help you make that decision right now so you don't have to. Is there any just like random things in the near future? I actually feel there's a relationship coming for you. Say. And it feels like um, seven, six, seven months within the next six, seven yeah. months. Yeah. Really wonderful person. Feels like tall, uh, athletic, mm -hmm. kind of uh, sandy blonde hair. Uh, it could yeah. be like a very creative person. I'm seeing an actor, actually, okay. um, As, or yeah. actress. Mm -hmm. Could be an actress. So but I, and it yeah, person. yeah. There's going to be two significant relationships for you in your life. This may not be the long, long-term one. There's another one coming yeah. within the next year or so that will be a little bit more committed. Just trust that that's going to come in when you're ready. We actually had gotten that you would marry at some point and maybe even have a child. Yeah, I think you'd be a great mom. I do too. I mean, you're a little young to have a child. <laughs> <laughs> well, you start with house plants and work your way up. <laughs> I, I'm seeing traveling for you this year too. Yeah. Florida and Texas both came in as possibilities for traveling. Yeah. A lot of production work coming up in the next few years. Yes. Getting gotcha. closer to your dream is what I keep hearing. Yeah. And, and you're doing confident. everything right. You're planting all the seeds. That's Thank all you, you need to do. There is a part two to this video over on Terry and Linda's channel. If you want to check that out, I will leave a link in the description box and you can also click our faces. Also, don't forget to subscribe to both of our channels and leave a comment down below and give this baby a thumbs up and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.